okay, okay. Got everything out. Serums are being prepped. First aid kits have been displayed. Table is clean. Floor is clean. No loose needles. The sun is shining. The birds are chirping and people are getting sick and injured. Um, well, that sounded a lot better in my head. <sighs> Today marks two months since I opened. All I've gotten were simple scrapes and dings. Sure, it puts food on the table, but what about recurring patients? People to come back and see me. I'm happy to take them, although I... I guess I wouldn't want a doctor that hardly had any real experience either. But we have to start somewhere, right? Oh! Oh, a potential patient! Okay, okay. They're few and far between, but if I can make a good first impression and do a good job, they'll be sure to recommend me at least. Okay, okay, just just breathe. Oh, don't be nervous. It'll be okay. You've got this, Addy. Just be professional and no babbling. Not, not too much, at least. I have a bad habit of doing that. Okay, here we go. Hello! Welcome in, good... Oh. Sir. I... Uh, I'm... I'm Adelina. D Doctor Adelina. Uh, just Addy is fine. Um... I'm really casual. So, um, what what brings you here? A checkup. How wonderful. I, I mean, you know, uh, wonderful for me, but if you were having a good day, you you probably wouldn't be here. <laughs> um, uh, you know, I just graduated from the Witch's Cure Medical School. Down in the Great Valley? Yeah, that one. The really, the really big one. Um, I was top of my class. My professor said that I'd be a natural in the art of medicine, so I decided to really apply myself, and, well, I here I am. Um, first things first, I'd like your general info for my archive. Here you go. You fill this out, and I'll be right back. Goodness, why did he have to be handsome? Look at him, just standing there, writing in the silly little clipboard that I made, my silly little questions. Oh, so I can stuff that I, I need to know. But, oh, these stars, why, why couldn't he have been some ugly old troll? Why did he have to look like that? Oh. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Don't get too flustered. It's gonna be okay. If there's no harm in, in being good looking, it's, it's okay. It's, it's, it's fine. Oh my goodness. Oh, just, just take, take a deep breath. Don't worry about it. Don't look at him. Don't, just don't stare. That's all you gotta do, just don't stare. Look at him, you have to look at him. Oh my goodness, we have to look at him. Uh -huh. Oh my, no, it's fine, it's fine. You, you're here for this, this is your job. You need to do this. You need, he needs your help, Addy. You have to be there and help him, okay? That's why we're here. Just get a grip, just get a grip. Finished? Great, let's see. Um. All right, medical history, ailments you've encountered in the past, your parents' history, ailments they've encountered, birthday, yes, everything seems to be in order. Um, except here, I, I noticed your height and weight are written quite small. 
<laughs> you don't have to be embarrassed around me. As long as you're healthy, I don't mind the numbers. <laughs> now, you said um, this visit was for... Oh. Oh, really? Now, I have heard a little something going around the village, but judging from your info here, you've been really healthy. That's wonderful. Now, as far as my checkups go, we'll start with the physical, such as examining your chest, abdomen, limbs, eyes, ears, nose, and throat. If you have any concerns at any time during the exam, please let me know and we can pause and talk about it. Now, please, set yourself up my table and we'll get started. So, lived here long? Just passing through? Visiting any family? Oh, okay. Sounds like fun. You know, I heard there's an ogre up by the bridge just a few miles out east. Nasty things, if you ask me. I've dealt with many myself. They don't quite like it when given antibiotics, but they'll come in handy at times, believe it or not. Why, yes. If given the proper treatment and care, they become quite dependent. Their impeccable strength makes them good on the farm or factories. Here we are. Oh. Why, yes. These are very much needed in the examination, especially since we don't know each other. I have not a single clue as if right now how your body reacts. This is a doctor's version of getting to know you. <laughs> Don't be alarmed. I'll be sure to keep you in the loop of things as we go. Now, I'm going to get rather close. Pardon me. <laughs> okay. Now, open real wide and stick out your tongue for me. And say, ah. Uh... <laughs> Very good. No. Let's take a look in here. My, my, look at these pearly wines. Mm. It looks like we have a bit of drainage back there, but nothing to be worried about. <laughs> and you don't look too pale or flushed or anything. Turn your head a smidge. And let's give a good look at these ears. Hmm, very good. I see you've been keeping them clean. Good on you. Alright. I'm going to open the skylight. And I'll need you to angle your head. Just about this much. <laughs> I don't want the sun to be too much in your eyes. Alright, now. Let's see these peepers. Oh, my, they're beautiful. <clears throat> Very good. Now, can you just look right over my shoulder? And the other one? Wonderful. Well. They look just about as clear as ever. <laughs> no wisp glare or dark eye. Now, we move on to your nose. Judging from the drainage, someone might be getting the sniffles. We just might be able to knock out two birds with one stone today. You can tilt your head up again for me, just a smidgen. Yeah, good, good. Now, I'm going to see if I can open your nostrils. A little more. Let's see what we're dealing with. <laughs> Don't worry about bats in the cave. <laughs> I wish this was all I had to see in my trainings. <laughs> I've seen everything. Okay. Nothing to be worried about. Oh, <laughs> bless you. <laughs> I might have just the thing for you after our session's over. Well, we're here. Let's get a good feel of your neck. 
And this is where the hands-on part comes into play. <laughs> Don't worry, I will strangle you. I'm simply feeling your lip nodes is all. Just let me know if you feel anything uncomfortable. Alright. <laughs> I like your Adam's apple, by the way. I think those are very handsome. <laughs> Um, right, let's move on. I'm needing to listen to your lungs real fast and your heart. If you don't mind removing your tunic while I fetch cloth for you. Okay, honey, you can do this. Just be professional and don't stare. It's okay. It's only uncomfortable if you make it that way. Just focus on your task. Oh... All right, here's your... Oh, oh, my feathers, there's a shirtless man. I... Oh, my focus. Your coverings. I don't want you to feel overexposed now. <laughs> have I ever done this before? Of course I have. Multiple times. Yeah, I'm a scarecrow in rags. Don't worry, you're in good hands. Oh, maybe a little sweaty, but at least they're good. Okay. Would you might would would you mind sitting up straight for me? Now take a deep breath. Good. Now just in. And right back out. Oh. Oh my. Very strong and loud. Almost don't even need to get this close to hear that. All right. Wonderful. And that breath wasn't too cumbersome, was it? You were able to fill up your lungs? I heard so. Let me see here. Can you lean forward as far as you can? I'm going to come back here and run my finger along your spine to see the curvature, okay? Let's open the back here and go ahead and lean forward as far as you can. I won't let you fall off the table, don't worry. <laughs> okay, just whenever you're ready. Goodness, what does this man do for work? Muscles and scars like this? This, this is good. Thank you. Now, let me get this small pillow for your head. And I'm going to have you lay it on your back for me, okay? Wonderful. Now. I'm going to open the front of the robe to examine your abdomen now. And don't worry, I'll be quick, I promise. Um, my hands might be a little cold. And... Oh, I'm sorry. Just really quick, I promise. Now, just really softly feel around. Now, right, left. Upper, lower, oh, I'm sorry, is this spot sore? No, well, then why did you, oh, <laughs> oh no, please don't be embarrassed, <laughs> it's okay to be ticklish, come on, I'll help you up again, <laughs> there we go, oh, you're doing very well so far. And what's left is your legs. Now, I've got this tool to help us with. Oh no! <laughs> it won't hurt at all. As intimidating as it looks, I'm only going to tap your knee with it. That's all. Are you ready? I'm just going to get down here and go... Boop! <laughs> See? That's all. And the other one. 
<laughs> it's all part of the process. Very good, very good. Alright, some of this down. Here's your tunic back, if you don't mind. I'll, I'd like to keep your info in the archive for later. As for that drainage, I can imagine a sore throat is in progress. Here. It's marshmallow root and a small jar of honey. This will help with sore throats as well as cough and as for traces of any disease, you might pray at the shrine in the center of town. It'll save you a trip over here to me. <laughs> Unless... Of course, you'd like to stop by and say hello. That's always welcome, too. <laughs> Though, unfortunately, I have no medicine that cures loneliness. But that just might be something I have to look into. <laughs> you, you have yourself a safe trip. And remember, my door is always open. Okay? <laughs> oh, look! Here comes someone else. Thank you for your visit. I look forward to next time. Hello, Mrs. Sparks. How are you? Oh, I know. How are the kids? Wonderful, wonderful. Are you still struggling with that hag swing? Oh, dear, dear. I think I might have just the thing for that. I've actually been studying on a little bit more on the Rizzo case.